Welcome to Acorn to Oak with Penny Quayle Pierce and co-host Matthew Donaghy. Within each acorn, there is the DNA that strives to be a mighty oak tree. All it needs to reach its potential for greatness is to be activated. You are the acorn. On this show, we will share with you the tools and guidance you need to grow into the person you are meant to be. And now your host, Penny Quayle Pierce and co-host Matthew Donaghy. Hi, so good evening, good afternoon, depending on where you're listening from. And um, it's Penny, obviously, and Matthew, hopefully he's having a few technical problems, but will be joining us shortly. And so I'll just basically uh, set out what we're going to be talking about this evening. So it's very much about, you know, someone was asking me a lot of questions about manifestation and whether I was a manifestation coach. And I went, well, it's not something that I call myself, um, although I deal a lot in my coaching practice with manifestation and um, helping people gain the knowledge that they need to uh, in order to manifest well in their lives. So there's been an, uh, an amazing amount of, should I say, BS that's been written, taught, and spoken about around the art of manifestation and why for many it has not worked, which leaves them feeling frustrated and let down. Uh, both Matthew and I have, have used uh, different techniques and done a lot of research around manifestation for ourselves and also to teach within Acorn to Oak. And, you know, we've been through the minefield of other people's thoughts, feelings, until we found the truth, which we're going to share with you uh, on the show. So um, hopefully that is Matthew just turning up. <laughs> yes, <certainly laughs> yes. <is>. <laughs> jolly good, <laughs> by the skin uh, of your teeth. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, good, good evening, good afternoon, everybody. Um, I shall be manifesting some new technology. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know technology you know it's the it's the glicks um the gremlins that come out of it you know you, when you're and definitely when you're you know you need to be somewhere <laughs> a certain oh yeah time. <laughs> that, that, that's when they all play up I, I, I tried my laptop that wouldn't load up then I tried my iPad and that wouldn't load up, so I'm using my phone instead. It's uh... <laughs> <coughs> excuse me, coughing. Um, it is just one of those things, and I think it's really interesting that we're talking about obviously manifestation today. And it's you know it is really interesting. Uh, the one thing, the one I would say either gremlin, you could call it a gremlin or whatever. Uh, I have a tendency to look at it as divine mother playing. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, you know, she has a wicked sense of humour and will send you things uh, with alarming regularity on occasions just to say, yeah, maybe you need a new phone or maybe you need a new this or have you thought about that? So, <laughs> so you just have to smile and just go, if it's meant to happen, it will happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if you heard what I was talking about, but I just gave a general spiel about, um, you know, manifestation. And, you know, yeah. there is a huge amount written about manifestation. And, you know, it's, well, if you use our technique, you know, you'll really begin to manifest or, you know, the fantastic um, resource of The Secret was was fantastic when it first came out. And I can't remember when it came out, probably 2007, I yeah. think. And uh, you know, give or take a few years. So don't quote me on that. <laughs> and it, it, when it came out, it was like, oh, you know, The Secret, finally people talking about how you can manifest. And, you know, and it is a great tool, and especially for people who've not heard about the the art of manifestation and, you know, they don't even realise that they can use 
uh, manifestation to help them attract uh, things into their lives. However, I've always looked at it and gone, yeah, that's great. However, you need to do some research first. Yeah. And, you know, that's great. However, you know, just by using the power of thought is not going to get you what you would like to manifest. And for me, it's always been, well, hang on a minute. Let's just go back to the beginning. And, you know, it's probably like the scientist within me that just goes, hang on a minute. You know, not all of the dots make sense. And not all of the things are connected. And therefore, you're going to have trouble in manifesting is, is that the right word? Manifestation. Manifesting, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have problems with manifestation if you don't look at it and go, well, where am I in conjunction with all of this? And when I talk about that, it's, you know, one of the things that, uh, you know, using the MAT technique, which is the uh, manifestation acceleration technique, is spending some time and when when we run the manifestation uh, acceleration technique the mat technique we spend at least a day to actually clear out some of the clutter you've got in your subconscious which is actually stopping you from manifesting cleanly and this, you know, it's part of the preparation work. And, you know, people think that actually I can just press this button and bang, you know, the riches of the universe will come to me in one single <laughs> breath. And it's like, no, nah, nah, sorry, you know, we don't want to be a devil's advocate here, but that ain't going to happen. And this is where people go into, you know, well, it's really easy. I just wrote myself a check for, you know, uh, for a million pounds and I stuck it on the ceiling. And I looked at it every day and I manifested it in three days or whatever it is. Well, I'm sorry, that ain't going to happen. Because you haven't even begun to clear the clutter, which will sabotage what you are trying to manifest. And this is one of the things that, you know, when I, I, I loved The Secret when it first came out and I thought it was brilliant video. And, you know, I loved all of the, the drama around it. I thought it was brilliant, some of the music and the, you know, the real slick presentation. Uh, you know, it, it was like, wow, when it first came out on the market. And it was, Really interesting when I watched it, I I loved it, but I also had a feeling of unease. And I checked into the feeling of unease and I, I, I was just thinking about it and I'm looking at, obviously, because we run a training company, etc, etc, etc. Is this going to be a big resource for us? And I, ju I just looked at it and went, started writing down, because I saw it at least five or six times, writing down where the writing didn't join up. And it was those things that made me realise that, yes, it's good. However, an awful lot of people are going to be led to disappointment because they're going to try the techniques and they're going to be doing what they've been told to do and they haven't gained the results. So yeah. that for me, you know, you know, my mind, <laughs> Matthew, it's like inquiry, you know, it's like, hang on a minute. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> 
It's like it's like the spiritual police come out, isn't it? <laughs> yes, and it's good. Well, for me, it's not necessarily the spiritual police, but the energetic police comes out, and I just go, <laughs> yeah. "Hang on a, a minute here." It just it 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 seems superficially fantastic, and then you look at it and go, "Yeah, but you know, for me, I always go back and research things myself." You know, in some ways, I look at myself slightly as a mechanic, and I take a, a take apart an engine, and I want to put it back together again, and not have a whole bunch of screws left, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which will lead to the engine falling out later. And you know, I would I prefer to do my research so that it's actually what you know, great English saying here that it's pucker, and it works, yeah. and you gain results. And one of the things that I always do is I test it out in my own life. Because, you know, if I start getting results in my own life from something that I've learned, then I go, hey, man, that works. And yeah. so at the end of the write up, I went, boy, oh, boy, it works. You know, the reason I, went, I go, boy, oh, boy, it works is because I've used it not every day of my life for the last 20 years, but I've used it every day whenever I feel that I'm not manifesting what I would like to manifest. So handing over to Matthew now so he can have his, his uh, yeah, go with it. it. Yeah, it, it's such a, one of my favorite subjects. Um, and because I've done so much research, very much um, totally agree with Penny. When the when the secret first came out, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. And I had all sorts of friends sort of, everyone, the first time you watch it, it's like, oh, I've got the secret to the universe. I, <laughs> finally, I can manifest the, the life I dream of. And, and yes, that is absolutely true. However, uh, there can be lots of different things that can get in the way. Um, and for me, it was like I experienced a lot of people would say, oh, yeah, have you have you tried the secret? Well, yeah, I tried a manifesting thing and I, well, I've got a new job, so it definitely works. And then they would try manifesting more and more and suddenly all of a sudden it stops or they're not manifesting what they think they desire um, because there's one one basic spiritual law with manifestation. And that is you can have anything you need. However, you may not get what you want. And it's that you, you will always get a response from the universe. Um, it just may not be manifesting what you want. It could come in a lesson, which I'll go into it in a second. But I think that's, for me, what people will pick something up and go, oh, well, it worked once, but now it doesn't work. Rather than looking into... If it's not working, why is it not working? And it's one of the sort of must my biggest frustrations around manifestation. I know, as Penny mentioned before, especially during COVID nineteen. I don't know if anybody else has noticed, but every 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 life coach has got the the secret to manifesting millions. And you think, well, that's great, but if you had the secret to manifesting millions, you you, you wouldn't be giving it away with with such a lack of knowledge because it's always always seems to be around a vibration or a meditation and the thing i've found over the years is is down to a lot of things it can be emotional stuff it can be mindset stuff but it can also be that you need to get a lesson um the reason that i found the manifestation acceleration technique so good and so powerful is because as penny said like there's a lot of processing that goes into it beforehand where you're looking into limiting beliefs uh, is there any emotional trauma that's giving you giving you a, a feeling of not being good enough because if you don't feel good enough for what you're trying to manifest you're not you're not in alignment you're not in that congruency because it's not just about asking for something it's about feeling it seeing it tasting it like really visualizing it and bringing it in um so there's lots of different things that can actually block and 
within a week of, or actually to be real honest, within three days of learning the manifestation acceleration technique, I decided to stop using it. And the reason being is because it works too well. And I got a lesson <laughs> upon lessons that I didn't want. Because Matthew learned the most powerful manifestation technique there is. And despite his 30 grand debt at the time, thought, well, I'll just manifest winning the lottery. Because then I can pay off my debt and that'll be sorted. And I'll buy a new house and go on holiday and that'll be great. Mm. Um, in the coming few days after getting back from that course, uh, I received so many letters from uh, sort of credit cards that it, it was like the universe had sent all my credit card bills at once to make me realise I need to take responsibility for my money here. Um, and of course, I just made the process wrong and said, oh, well, the manifestation's not working, is it? Um, and it was only really when I checked in with Penny a week later and I said, I'm go I didn't work. I've got all these bills. And... Penny just said, well, what do you think the universe is trying to tell you? They're not willing to pay your debt off. <laughs> it was it was like that big R moment, right? Oh, OK. And it was you just don't realize that there could be in, in so many ways. We want something for nothing and it, it, it's a want. So it's not congruent um, and it's not clean. You're not going to manifest it. So, I mean, since I've used it, for money purposes and it's absolutely fantastic um, when you've taken responsibility for yeah. your own stuff and this is the thing that a lot of people don't realise is you, the universe will supply you with a lesson if that's what you need to learn if you have no lessons around money and you're very clean around money and there's no attachments there is absolutely no reason why you couldn't manifest 10 million quid I know Jim Carrey's done it but again, when you listen to what the way he talks about it, he visualizes it and he didn't just ask for it. He didn't just say, oh, universe, I want 10 million quid. He said, mm -hmm. I would like 10 million quid for labor rendered or, or whatever it be. He was putting out to the universe that the 10 million quid he was going to receive was for work that he was going to put in. So there was action there. There was intention there. And it was clean. It's mm -hmm. not just sitting on your sofa trying to manifest 10 million quid because you can't be bothered to get up and go out the door and earn it you, yeah. you have to be willing to put your bit in and and again it's real simple little bits of information that everybody else doesn't tell you they they just say oh you can pay me 50 dollars sit down do a half an hour vibrational healing manifestation meditation and you can manifest all you like and well all you manifest is an extra 50 50 dollars going out of your bank account um <laughs> because you're left with a process that doesn't really help um so you may be trying to manifest money but you're actually l losing it and so i mean yes we we train in a course in this and we do charge for it but it's an intensive process and it's not just a half an hour thing um, and it's the attention to detail that will give you the value for money. It's the sharing the free information like we are now and saying, look, how to manifest properly. It's if you're not manifesting what, what you what you're seeing or what you're I don't like the word want, but I'm going to use it. But if you're not manifesting what you what you want, there's a reason for that. Uh -huh. So it's looking into what what are the if you what are the signs are you getting that you need to learn something like the universe will give it to you, but you have to learn the lesson first. So and I, I think and one I've of the experience that. yeah I think one of the biggest lessons oh hang on we're going into a break oh, so <laughs> <by the bell. laughs> we'll continue in a minute. connection to a more mindful world. Om Times Radio, IOM FM. Om Times Magazine is one of the leading online content providers of positivity, wellness, and personal empowerment, a philanthropic organization 
Their net proceeds are funneled to support worldwide charity initiatives via Humanity Healing International. Through their commitment to creating community and providing conscious content, they aspire to uplift humanity on a global scale. Om Times, co-creating a more conscious lifestyle. I'm Kathy Williams, host of Sexy Mom Abundant Life radio show on Thursdays at 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific. On the show, we explore living abundantly in every area of your life. Ways to let go of limiting patterns and beliefs and to step into the flow of creativity and possibility, knowing you are supported by the universe. We are talking about your life. Ever wonder, is this as good as it gets? No, it could be so much better. At Acorn to Oak, we know you are seeking more happiness, joy, unconditional love, financial freedom, passion, and purpose. Find your unique mojo and live an extraordinary life. Want to know more? Contact us at our website, acorntooak.org.uk. A social distancing tip. Putting distance between yourself and others is critical to slowing the spread of coronavirus. So here are ways to stay in contact without the physical contact part. Call, send a text, set up a video conference, post on social media, dedicate a song on the radio. If you have symptoms of fever, dry cough, and shortness of breath, call your health care provider before going to their office. For more info, visit coronavirus.gov. Let's all do our part, because we're all hashtag alone together. Brought to you by the Ad Council. So just picking up from where we left off, and you know, one of the things that I find really interesting when people are trying to manifest is, you know, and I usually get them to do a, a mind map, you know, so they put their, their name in the centre and what is it that they actually would like to manifest if there was no, um, no, uh, nothing stopping them. Yeah, no, thank you. No limitations. <laughs> And basically, they come up with, you know, during this process, they come up with a whole load of things that they don't want. Um, and, you know, finally, we get them to actually flip that coin and get them to focus on what they would like. And it's a case of getting them to be quite specific. So if they're doing, you know, I want to manifest a home, and, and they just talk about, oh, yeah, it's it's a home. It's got four or five bedrooms or this or that or the other. And, you know, a part of that as they work in, in a pair is to get the other person just to get them to be more specific. Mm. So how does the home feel? Is it full of lights? Is it, you know, some uh, a semi-detached property? Is it... a uh, uh, you know, somewhere with land, you know, whereabouts in the, the world would you like it? And it's trying to get people to realize that actually, as a divine being, you know, with the divinity within us, we can manifest anything we desire. Mm. You know, but it is a desire, it's not a want. Because if you want something, you'll be left wanting. You know, it's the universe playing tricks on us again. So it's very important to learn the language of manifestation. So when you learn the language of manifestation, you know, you have preferences and you have desires. And what is it that your heart desires? And when you immediately take it down to the heart, instead of thinking you know what you want yeah. you feel what your authentic need is or what your desire is yeah. and it's really important to get this uh stickly on exactly how you use language in order to manifest and you know when I look at manifestation, I go back into my inner child and go, right, I, I would like to manifest from that place of joy. 
And when you start to manifest from that place of joy and you get excited about things, then it's going to flow. Just as an example, I've been, I threw myself a challenge three days ago when I really started back at work full time. And uh, one of the things that I've wanted to manifest is the ability to uh, do short bite videos, which are informative and fun and teaches me how to edit and use new technology. And, you know, the first yesterday was not a great day, as in I managed to get out the, uh, the video, which is a, probably about five minutes long. And I've done and today was the third day. And very much um, I looked at it and I was up at six o'clock this morning. Um, I was doing my own spiritual practice and during the spiritual practice, I, I got a spiritual download of you want projects. Here's a project for you. <laughs> oh my God, here we go. And it was very much about making a video about bringing the community together. And I'm not talking just about a to work community. I'm talking about us as a global community. And I said, OK, you know, basically having this conversation with my guides, I basically said, OK, so how are we going to do that? And they said, you know, it's it's very much a case of doing what I call a zero clearing and helping people realize that they are really important. And that their lives matter. So they came up with pretty much came up with three statements of I love you. We are with you. And you are never alone. So these were the three statements that I was given and I whacked it out to the community group and basically said, OK, so could you make videos, uh, you know, 30, 20 seconds to 60 seconds of, of just saying these words and then post it to me and then we'll get a whole bunch of high vibrational people saying this and getting it out there and hoping that it will go viral. So, you know, in that you raise the vibration in the universe. So that's the work. That's what Matthew was talking about when he was saying, you know, I'll put in the work, but I want 10 million pounds. So, you know, this is very much about if you invest in the universe, the universe will invest in you. And straight away, that actually takes you up out of the normal vibration that's going on in the earth right here, right now, and takes you up into the fifth dimension. And the fifth dimension is one of the first spiritual realms, which is all about spirit. So if you can, you know, you know, most people when they first start to manifest is, uh, you yeah, know, I want £30,000, I want a new car, I want a really nice house, uh, la, 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 But they're not actually looking at why that would make their lives better than it is now. Mm. And in asking for those things, what are you going to give back to the universe? So it's looking at and realizing that, yes, we can manifest, but we manifest quicker if we are manifesting for humanity and we take a cut off. <laughs> I know that sounds very, very basic, but you know, that's how it works. The universe will look at it and go, yeah, we have no problem. You know, we've got limitless amount of funds. We can give you what you like. But how are you going to use that? How are you going to use that in service to humanity? So if you're just wanting a house so that you can lord it over the Joneses, you're not going to get it. If you're wanting a house so you can provide a safe space 
for your family one bring it out to your family two so you can go into a nice community and be in service in that community then you're more likely to manifest it quickly so it's looking at you know and this is very much part of the map technique is looking at your uh, reason for wanting these things you know and don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with manifesting a sports car if you like to drive fast as long as you realize the spot the sports car yeah is there and it's just temporary mm. yeah? and you know the one of the things i will say to people is don't think you own anything outright because you don't the universe gave it to you so the universe may take it back at any time and it is having that non-attachment because if you have non-attachment then it doesn't matter whether it manifests or not because something better will come along instead yeah and you know one of the things for me um you know when uh, i was getting to a certain age and luke and i hadn't had a child it was a case of you know I, I asked the universe to help me manifest a way of having a child of our own but i was already in my 50s yeah most people would have said well that's it then <laughs> it's a no-go but i i took it to the divine and basically used the math technique and said how can we manifest this and you know i was 50 55 at the time and in the uk um, i have i have a private pension i could bring down some money from the private pension so that's exactly what we decided to do and then we went ahead and went right okay so my health is not going to allow me to become pregnant at this this time in my life so we went for surrogacy and we have an amazing three-year-old son and you know it's it's when you turn around and say well it's got to be this way if i manifest this it's got to be you know I, i've got to be able to get pregnant at the age of 55 post-menopausal and it's got to look like this and god's got to give it to me instead of actually what i'm trying to to say is that if you do the research and you open up the possibilities that's when the manifestation and the miracles happen so just handing back to matthew so he can put his bit in yeah um, my neck's hurting i've been nodding so much yeah and it, it really is about drilling down to the little details um so one of one of my sort of favorite processes is i'll share very quickly as penny was saying when we get people to do a mind map we're trying to get people to really drill down to what their needs are and what their all authentic dreams are um because if something's authentic then there are there are no limits to your manifestation because if it's done out of love and imagination they're both pure whereas if you have an attachment and i love the um reference penny made to sports cars because i had a huge attachment when starting to work with penny um for a red ferrari and <laughs> it was a conversation we had with i had with penny many times and it was that you know just be just make sure you don't have attachments there like if, if it's something you love of course you can try and manifest it but just don't base anything on it so don't base any happiness on it this that and the other um and this is a bit it's going to be a bit of a, a clangor for for some people but one of the things about manifestation is a lot of people are start trying to use manifestation basically because they're not happy with how their life is and when you're in that 
sort of space as I was. Um, I use myself as an example here. Um, you, you, you think that material things are going to make you happy. Um, you don't have real clarity around what it is the dream is. It's almost fogged by wants and desires and that sort of thing. Because, I mean, looking looking at the way I manifest now in comparison to how or what I was looking for when I first started looking into it, it was it's worlds apart. Because I look into what's genuine and the process that's really good for this is, say, for example, give me 10 things you want to manifest. Um, and then what I would do is I would just dial it back and back and back until we're left with one thing. Because you would say, right, there's 10 things I want to manifest. But when we work it back and each time I say, right, I'm going to take one away, you can't have all of those things, let's have one back. The one, pe the one thing people always get back to is love and happiness or security for family. Um, it, 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 it's a loving life. It, it, it always comes back to that one thing. And when you turn around to that person and tell them that the one thing that they truly would like to manifest, they already have, it blows their minds because they, they realise that actually everything else is just a bonus and out of those bonuses yeah one or two might be really nice and i've always dreamed of owning a boat or having a ferrari or living in a lakeside house or like if it's a genuine sort of love loving clear manifestation there's no reason why you can't have it um a lot of people do visualize their dream home years decades before they actually live in it um but it's when you're manifesting something like like penny said it's like well how many bedrooms is it because again i remember going through the process myself and it's i had no clarity around what actually i wanted because it was just thinking of things that i thought would make me happy and mm. would cover the pain and get me by and all this sort of thing and i think Again, a lot of people don't, aren't told this when they start that manifestation works. And if you find an a, a effective tool, be ready. Because yeah. you're either about to get everything you dreamed of or you're going to get uh, a clear map of how to get there. <laughs> or <laughs> because... it turns up in an unexpected way. Yes. I just wanted to, I hope this is okay <laughs> to, share, to share this. But one of the things around when we were talking about the Ferrari was actually what you wanted was to have a car, a, a sports car, where the top could be down and you could feel the wind in your hair yeah. and see see the stars at night. Mm. OK, so what are you driving now? Right now? Um. Well, just to add, one of my cars is a convertible sports car. So, <laughs> exactly, yeah, it, exactly. It, it, it works. It really does work. When you manifest from the heart, anything is possible. However, um, just just to, to underline this for folks, is a Ferrari would have cost you, I have no idea. How much does a Ferrari cost nowadays, Matthew? Oh, well, I'll tell you what, they've gone up ridiculously ridiculous amounts now i mean you're talking 200 grand probably for a... okay, okay so 200 grand for the car that you would like to drive how much did the car you are driving now that gives you that experience how much did that cost you uh three percent of the price of a ferrari and this again this is a great story um gearbox went wrong on one of my cars that I, i've still got still still going um so i needed to manifest a car pretty quick and i sort of said well i don't mind as long as it gets me from a to b i had no attachments to what it was didn't really care um said to one of my mechanic friends on the thursday night mate need a car see what you can come up with two days later i had a 
I mean, it was probably worth six thousand pounds, and it cost me uh, cost me three hundred quid. Uh, within three days, convertible so that's, car. So um, changing that to American, that's about maximum four hundred and fifty bucks. Yeah. And I mean, it, it, it's just brilliant. <laughs> and people look at me and go, how do you manifest cars like you do? And I say, well, it's easy. <laughs> a conscious lifestyle for a mindful life. Own Times Radio. IOM FM. Being a radio host on IOM FM allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience, unlimited by time and distance. Ohm Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single Ohm Times endeavor. Host your show with Ohm Times Radio Network. Hello, I'm Sandy Sedgbeer, host of Om Times Magazine's flagship radio show, What is Going On? My passion is sifting through information, research, and innovations from new thought teachers, speakers, and researchers, pushing back the boundaries of what we know about life, energy, metaphysics, and the universe. I love shifting perceptions about who we are, why we're here, and how quickly impossible becomes normal when we open our minds, expand our awareness, and accept that the only limits that exist are those we place upon ourselves. So if you're the kind of forward-thinking, eager investigator of what lies beyond the current reality that most perceive, why not make a date to come play with me in the field of possibilities at 4 p.m. Pacific Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Time every Thursday, and together we can discover what's really going on. We are talking about your life. Ever wonder, is this as good as it gets? No, it could be so much better. At Acorn to Oak, we know you are seeking more happiness, joy, unconditional love, financial freedom, passion, and purpose. Find your unique mojo and live an extraordinary life. Want to know more? Contact us at our website, acorntooak.org.uk. Long ago, you wouldn't think of galloping on a horse while doing calligraphy, and you wouldn't have attempted to ride your bike while typing a letter. Yet you think you can safely operate a multi-ton vehicle while texting? Behind the wheel is no place to multitask. If you want to BRB, drive now and text later. Lives depend on it. Visit StopTextStopRex.org, a message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, Noise, and the Ad Council. So uh, it's we've we've been ch generally chatting about manifestation and what what we what you need to do to clear some of the sabotaging uh, thought forms uh, that are around it and actually you know very much for me it's about zero clearing um, any resistance so that we can actually look and then go forward and start thinking about using the uh, MAT technique, which is the uh, manifestation acceleration technique, which was basically um, a very good channel. And I can't remember his name. Can you remember his name, Matthew? Um, Archangel Michael well, was, he, the, well, was, was the guy Greg, that channeled it. Um, yeah, Greg, Let, I'll, I'll research it. <laughs> 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 That's okay. And he basically came up with uh, a cyclical breaths, uh, reset breaths, uh, and very much taking breaths up to uh, the highest level of self yeah. uh, with intention. So it's about using your breath in order to break through the patterns of resistance. And it's very, very important to do it in a certain uh, certain way. 
So uh, obviously we needed, we wanted to talk about it and hopefully we'll get our acts together enough to actually show you or you will be able to hear us breathe and we will talk about the technique. And I'm sure you're probably all now sitting there thinking, for God's sake, just shut up and get on with the technique. And that's real interesting. Because again, it's very much part of our smash and grab mentality. This, you know, this stuff that we're about to talk about, I actually look as quite sacred. Because an archangel doesn't actually channel himself through somebody to land this technique unless it's quite sacred and special. So taking a breath, it's about, right, okay, let's talk about mat technique. So uh, Matthew, is there anything else that you would like to add uh, before we continue? No, uh, I've looked up the guy's name. It's Gregory Possman. That's so, right, thank you, Possman. Um, yeah, just got the, it was a, just the last <laughs> name I couldn't remember. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to this, uh, to doing this process. So, would you like really, to do it? Really powerful yeah. thing. Matt, would you like to 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 start off with doing the first part? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Um, so there's various different breaths we're going to use. Um, there's a release breath and a reset breath. Um, these are used in the initial start of it. Um, so we're going to do the release breath twice. Um, the release breath is used to gather and release toxins within your body. Um, so what you do is you sit with your spinal cord correct, uh, erect, like you would like a meditation pose. It's just making sure that you're aligned, um, that your chin is about 90 degrees. Um, and then what you're going to do is holding, holding the muscles within your buttocks and your stomach, you're breathing in through the nose, and as you're inhaling, you put your chin to your chest and hold your breath for as long as you can, and then releasing the muscles, you then lift your head up and expel the air through your mouth. So um, you do this twice, um, so I think what I'll do is I'll talk you through the breaths and then I'll talk you through the process. Um, then we do the reset breath twice. So the reset breath is just uh, through the mouth and exhaling through the mouth. Um, this is used to reset the cellular, cellular structure of your body um, and prepare it for the new programming within the next breath. Um, from there, we use the cyclical breath, um, the soul rotation breath, and then the soul rotation breath with intention. Now, they're all relatively similar, but because of they're more complex, I'll, if, you, if you're happy with that, Penny, I'll just take them through them as we absolutely. go. Absolutely. Sounds absolutely fantastic. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to start with the release breath. So just sit with your spinal cord straight, um, breathing in as much, no, uh, tensing the muscles in your um, rectum and your stomach, um, breathing in through your nose, nice long in breath, bringing your chin down to your chest, holding your breath for as long as feels natural to you. And exhaling. So, so. Again, breathing in, tensing the muscles, breathing in through the nose, bringing your chin down to your chest, holding your breath, releasing the muscles, bringing your chin up, and exhaling. Now, what that has done is it's actually removed toxins from your body. Um, so that's a great one. Um, moving on to 
two rounds of the reset breath. So we're breathing in vigorously through your mouth. Um, it's just making sure that you're bringing your rib cage up. So you're putting, putting effort in. So we do two of them. So it's a... And we do two sets of these in between each of the cyclical breath. So with the cyclical breath, we're bringing in the usage of our using our chakras, both our will centers and our feeling centers. It's bringing attention to your third eye or medulla oblongata, which is the back of your third eye. And what we do is as you're inhaling in through the nose, you're bringing your attention through the back of your third eye coming down through your will centers, into your base chakra. And then on the exhale, it's bringing yang up through all of your will centers, through the heart, and then pushing it out through your third eye. And there's, we do four, four rounds of these. So I'm gonna breathe very loudly so you can hear me and you know I'm doing the process, um, but I will also guide you through, so. Breathing in through your nose, bringing the energy through your medulla oblongata, down through your will centers, then exhaling through the mouth as you bring the energy up through your feeling centers, and out through your third eye. Breathing in through the nose, coming through the back of your third eye, down through your will centers, to the base, exhaling, bringing the energy up through your feeling centers, and pushing it out your third eye. So one more of them, so bringing your attention, the energy through your third eye, down through your will centers, into the base, and on the exhale, up through the feeling centers and out through the third eye. Good, I hope you're following. So we're gonna do two of the reset breath. So that's the quick inhalation through the mouth and out the mouth, so two of them. So we're now going to move on to the um, cyclical breath soul rotation. Um, now the difference with this is what we're doing is we're bringing energy through. It's always bringing it, um, well, oh, actually I should repeat myself. On this process, you can either bring the energy through the heart chakra or through the back of the third eye use your own intuition on this so it may change from time to time that you do it so either bringing it through your heart chakra or your um, back of your third eye we're then taking the energy up we're wanting to connect with higher self with that authentic side of self or the over self um, so Starting at the back on the inhalation, it's bringing it up, taking it up and setting the intention that you connect with the over soul and feel it because you will. And it's again on still on the inhalation, it's going up and then bringing it back down very quickly back through the will centers. And then when you reach the, the base chakra again, that's when you start the, the exhale. So again, I'll talk you through it. Um, and this is repeated four times. So breathing in through your nose, bringing it through either your heart chakra or back of third eye and going up like a rocket, connecting with higher self, with your over soul, bringing the energy back down through your will centers, down into the base, exhaling, bringing the energy through your will centers and again pushing it out through the third eye. 
inhaling through the nose, bringing the energy through your will center up to your oversoul, connecting, bringing that intention down through your uh, will centers, down to the base, exhaling through the mouth, bringing the energy up through your will center, uh, your feeling centers, and down through the third eye. Inhaling through the nose, through, through the will center, up, connect with the oversoul, bring that energy down, down through the will centers, to the base. Now bringing your attention up as you exhale through the feeling centers and out through your third eye. One more round of that, so in through the nose, up to the oversoul, down through the will centers, down to the base, up through the feeling centers, and out the third eye. So, it sounds like we're going to have to um, complete this next time. So, hopefully you'll be able to practice those, at least we finish them. Uh, just to finish off on two reset breaths, so breathing in and out yeah. via your mouth. And closing down and being safe. So, we'll see you next time. And we'll continue and we'll do the last manifestation breath with intention on that show at the very, very beginning. Brilliant. So hope you can join us. <laughs>